Some cultures carry weight on their head. In fact, in the Bones for Life work, Ruthie Alon, the creator of it, looked at African women who carried loads on their head because scientists were super interested in the fact that these women were able to carry up to 20% of their body weight for no extra effort. They called it carrying a load for free. And that their gait had a pendulum-like style to it. So Bones for Life first looks at how are you going to carry this 10 pounds of your own skull on the middle of your spine before we start adding weight to it? But then from there, can you find the capacity to lengthen up into weight, into not only your skull, but into whatever is sitting on it so that you lengthen in both directions and the spine decompresses throughout the middle? It's a very novel approach.